way up to the chamber, graffitiing some furniture uh, on the way, and also hung the colonial flag of Hong, Hong Kong. What the fuck? Hong Kongers may not have every right they believe they're entitled to, but they certainly have the right to protest, and they like to use it. <coughs> Okay, a couple of things about using the British colonial flag as a symbol of human rights. From 1843 to 1985, almost the entirety of British colonial rule, Hong Kong was a dictatorship. The British government appointed a colonial governor and council. In the beginning, the British even used to extradite Chinese suspects from Hong Kong to the mainland as part of the Chinese Extradition Ordinance Agreement. Not to mention the fact that the city was seized from the mainland after the British fought to literally flood the country with heroin. That's right, after winning the Opium Wars in the mid-1800s, the British forced drug addiction on the entire Chinese nation at gunpoint. In the centuries leading up to the conflict, the Chinese economy was the largest in the world. Once we were done with them, their share of global GDP was reduced by half, kicking off what is referred to in China as the century of humiliation. Seeing images like this proudly paraded online gives me a sinking feeling in my stomach. It makes headlines like this an inevitability. Hong Kong is know the values behind the Union flag, but do the British? With resurgent fascism gripping the UK, the last thing the world needs is a Britain with an even greater sense of historical amnesia when it comes to the empire. Unlike countries like Germany, we haven't come to terms with our nation's crimes. For example, there are no monuments in London to the tens of millions of Indians that starved to death or were murdered under colonial rule. We as a nation used the fact that we fought on the right side during World War II to wash the blood of an unimaginable number of colonial victims from our hands. This is despite the fact that we were doing things like torturing and murdering Kenyans in concentration camps long after the Nazis were defeated. Look, when it comes to current tensions in Hong Kong, my opinion is dirt, precisely because of the crimes the British committed against the Chinese people. But no matter where you're from, anyone who drapes themselves in the butcher's apron in the name of freedom is absolving one of history's most racist, genocidal empires, one that trampled